You see, it's very funny. It's one dish of pasta and there are three animals inside. The tinta carbonara. This smells like Italy. Buongiorno, Yorobun! Annyeonghaseyo! Chonun, Italia e son Michel Stan Yorisa Fabrizio Ferrari Ibnida. Onul carbonara de he iyagi hakko yo. Sijak te chingu imi araso. Hajiman amado chincha carbonara molaso. Because it's, everyone has its own recipe. Like over here in Korea, everyone has its own recipe of kimchi jjigae. But there's something that is you cannot change and are cherio. So Chicken cherry del soke halko yo. Pecorino cheese. Bacon. Anio. One chale. Yeah. Keran. Easy. Salt. Huchu. Usually huchu, that's like, oh yes, put some pepper into the thing. Salt and pepper, you know? Very easy. You don't count usually as an ingredient. But in chincha carbonara, huchu is one of the star ingredients. Keran. You have to separate. Keran is probably the most important one because you need to create a nice creamy texture. Now, one chale. We need to cut it. Over here in Korea, it was kind of difficult to find it. Guancha. Guancha is chic in Italian. Very fatty. I could be good. Perfect for making pasak pasak. And that is what we need. So we do the shading and then we cut it. Guanciale to mid soil. And now pecorino. Oh, pecorino. Oh, very, very cannense nayo. This, why is so smelly? Because this is not so uyu, it's young uyu. You see, it's very funny. It's one dish of pasta and there are three animals inside. There's young, there's gay, there's deji. It's like, uh, you know, Nella vecchia fattoria. Lots, lots, lots of animals inside. Bang! Let's grate our nice chija. Grater! Grater! Italian grater. This is chincha Italian grater. Let's see how it works. Maybe I can just change it. <laughs> Let's do it with a serious grater. This one. Oh, see, very soft flakes. And these soft flakes are very useful when we have to do the mix for carbonara. The only dairy inside carbonara is this. Done! But now I'm using for crushing the pepper in big pieces. How you call, you also have it in Korea, the chingu, I'm pretty sure. We call it mortaio. Mortaio! It makes to, 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 mashi soil. And I'm crushing, crushing, crushing. Bam, 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 bam. Huchu! Done! Now, time for the pasta. It's the last ingredient. Jontong spaghetti. You see this? Have you ever seen spaghetti like this? Look at this. And you need the pan hot. And you don't need fat. Because here, because all this chibang want just to get out from here for becoming baza baza texture. So you just put this inside and you wait. So you have to apply gentle heat. Gentle heat, otherwise you're burning them. You want to take your time to make it all sides, super pasak pasak. If it really wants to go out, okay, go out. We let it go out. You see how much? I didn't put any extra fat inside here. No oil, no butter. And look at this. How much of that I have out. That all came out from your guanciale. And this, no porioyo. We need it. Time for last thing, the water. ta -da! And magically we have some boiling water on our gas burner. Put in the middle. When you put the spaghetti, and the spaghetti are very long like this, remember to shakey shakey 
Oh yes, everyone's in here. Cooking time of this spaghetti is uh, palbun. I will do yukbun. Why? Because the other two minutes remaining, I want to cook inside here. So now, Fabri, you only have yukbun to do your mixing. Pali, pali, pali. Let's try. Chija. Keran. Let's do pop, pop, pop. Huchu. A lot, a lot here and a lot on top after. And now, mix is ready. Soko, soko, soko to make a cream. Oh yes. Okay, the nice cream is done. Bang! Inside the boiling water, of course, you have to put salt. But not too much, please. Usually, the right quantity is 7 grams for 1 liter. Mmm, perfect. 6 minutes. Ready! Chumbi Dueo! Stop the fire. And... Start back your guanciale. Put your pasta into the guanciale. Now... Oh, cooking water. Jibang! Nice, shiny, and when you take it out, you see white cream made by the fat of the guanciale. Now we are ready to do the magic. Pro tip, you leave just a, a little bit of the boiling water of the pasta inside the pan. You put it back. You take your nice curd that you put your mixture inside, then you put on top. And your pasta, and you start the mixing with a little bit of water. A little bit, and we are done. We do a nice mouthful, like we were using the fork. Oh, look at the cream. Look at the cream dripping with no double cream. Wow! A little bit more and then your guanciale. And some more. Pasak, pasak. And the final touch. Just a massive pica of pepper. And done! And done! And here is the tinta carbonara and looks wow, so beautiful. This is the tinta. This is the real carbonara, only nege. Wow, this smells like Italy. Look at the cream without cream. Shingi, shingi, shingi heo. Crunchy. And some of them are crunchy, some of them a little bit chalky chalky. Mm. 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 And next time I really want to show you some Taran recipes. Maybe some John Tong Italian recipe, maybe some Chan Jojo Kin Fabri style recipes. So check it out here and you're gonna have another surprise next time. Tao me mannayo! Annyeonghaseyo! Bye bye!